Hey, welcome back to another Jack's Tech Corner. And as I'm sure the title told you, what I'm going to teach you now is how to use the Lightroom 5 Beta to fix the tethering for the D600 in Lightroom 4. And I love that I have the ability, a little bit of ability anyway, to reverse engineer software and try to figure out what they're doing and how software works. So I was able to actually fix the other software. So I wouldn't even really call this a hack. I see this being perfectly legal. All this is copying one file that we need into the proper folder. Now, this is on a Mac, as you can see here, but it should, and I wouldn't see why it would not have the same abilities to work on a Windows PC. Uh, I haven't tested that theory, but I at least wanted to show the Mac community out there how this would work. So what you're gonna need to do is download the Adobe Lightroom 5 beta, all right? And install it on your computer because what you're going to have then is you're going to have Lightroom 5 which tethering actually works and I showed that earlier uh, you can actually plug in your D600 and it works just fine so I thought well there has to be a file in there somewhere to allow that to happen and I need that file to be put into Lightroom 4 so to find our files when you're in the applications folder on your Mac right click on the uh, application and go to show package contents and when you do that you're gonna come in here and just double click on contents and the file that you're looking for it took me a little while to find it but I'm gonna tell you exactly where it's at it's under the plugins folder now this may actually work too I see in here there's there's tethering in here for Canon for Lusa Lushi whatever that is and Nikon so if you have a Canon camera also one of the new ones that may not be tethering properly with Lightroom 4 Try this same thing out and see what happens. All you want to do is on this plugin here for the Nikon, we're going to right click on it and click on copy. Now that we have that copied, we're going to go back to our applications folder. And now we're going to go to Lightroom 4 and they load these both beside each other because they didn't want Lightroom 5 since it's beta to overwrite your catalogs for Lightroom 4 because they didn't know how it's going to affect anything which makes it great for us because we're just going to use a file in here from Lightroom 5. So right click on Lightroom 4, go to show package contents, open up the contents and open up your plugins folder. Now what you're going to do here, it's very easy to do this. I actually took my tether Nikon dash plugin and I, I renamed that to underscore one. That's the original plugin that came with my Lightroom 4. And then what you'll do is just simply right click and paste and you're going to paste a new one here the tether nikon plugin dot ir plugin okay or i mean lr lightroom plugin because now lightroom 4 when you relaunch it it's going to look and use this plugin and that's how it's going to work let's go ahead and close this out so we have those files located where we need those located at now we're going to launch lightroom 4 you can see it says Lightroom 4. It's even version 4.3, so I didn't even update this to the current 4.4 yet. And here it is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to go to File. I'm going to go to Tethered Capture. Start Tethered Capture. And here's my D600 test right here. This is Lightroom 4. Let me make sure I can show you that before we move on here about Lightroom right here Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 4 so everybody knows I'm not BS new it is Lightroom 4 and this is actually version 4.3 but I'm sure it's going to work just fine on 4.4 .4. I would copy the file after you update to 4.4 .4. I just haven't done that yet sometimes slow to react okay let's click on start uh, camera or capture settings the D600 test we have it where we want it to go we you know, all the normal stuff here it is right here all right we can see it right in the middle of my screen. And now I'm going to actually plug in to my USB cable. It's hanging here. It's plugged into my computer. And I'm going to plug this into my D600. And I'm going to turn my D600 on. And if everything works the way it should be, and it should work, and I keep shutting this doggone thing off here too. Uh, that's my Dropbox. Uh, let's just click uh, never for this device. Click back on here. And you'll see here, let's go back out on here. Right here now, it says D600. 
and there's all my settings right there. Now let's make sure it works because I, you know, I like to do a little test here because I get a lot of emails from people who says, "Oh, he's lying. That's Lightroom four te or Lightroom five tether." It's not. It is Lightroom four. Take my lens off my camera and grab a picture. And we will see what happens there if it comes in. And I drop my lens cap, of course, on the floor so I can run over with my chair. There it is. All right, let me turn on some flash here. And we'll drop my ISO setting down to make it a little nicer picture here anyway. Let's do 400. Uh, you'll see up there my ISO is changing even to 400. There we go. Let's see if the capture program works here. Uh, if I can just click on the shutter button here. And there you go. It works just like it should work. Uh, the flash went off. And and there's the picture right there. So uh, just a picture of one of my cameras here in the studio. Uh, if I shut it off, it's just going to shut that off just like it normally would. And now you can tether capture to your Lightroom 4 just by simply using that plugin from the beta version of Lightroom 5. So why Adobe doesn't give that away to us Lightroom 4 owners out there, uh, make it a free download. Let's just download that plugin and put it in there instead of making all this uh, secret of big hype. Uh, and I know, like I told my wife at dinner tonight, I said, you know, I'm sure because they're developing 5 and they want us to all rush out and buy 5 as soon as it's uh, released, they're not too concerned about working the kinks out of 4 for the new cameras. But, hey, if you have a new Canon or a new Nikon, try those plugins and see if they work for you. They should. I don't see where you'll have any problem at all. Again, thank you for uh, so much for watching my videos here on YouTube. Please click the subscribe button and uh, keep uh, up to date with me there on the latest going on. And... More Lightroom and Photoshop tutorials and Photoshop elements. If you're looking for Lightroom uh, training, I do have a Lightroom DVD for sale. Go to jackstechcorner.com and pick up a copy of that or take the online Lightroom class. I'm sure it's going to be uh, the same type of deal uh, between 4 and 5. And as I go through 5, I will be adding new topics to the Lightroom class so you can actually see that new stuff happening. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you back here next time on Jack's Tech Corner. Until then, keep those shutters clicking, keep your editors editing, and I'll see you back here very soon. Bye for now.